guys planning to overthrow the government? Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mum. Oi, you coming for dinner, girl? Where are you? Oh, I'm just driving to Tane Atua to interview uh, the terrorists, Tame and Toyiti. Oh, Tamati Toffee Pop, that's the weather boy, MP. No, it's not him. No, these guys are the terrorists. Do you remember them? Short guy, tattoo face, gets his bum out on special occasions. Oh, Tame Iti. Ah, you better be careful, girl, and try not to be a smart ass and get yourself killed, eh? Okay, say the Lord's Prayer for me. Hope I make it out alive. Bye, love you. I'm heading into Tuhui country to meet the notorious Tame Iti and his son Toy. Tame Iti is a living legend. He grew up in Ruatuki in the 60s and was an active member of the protest movements of the 70s, 80s, 90s, and noughties. In 2007, he was labelled a terrorist when a hundred armed police raided the Ruatoki Valley, terrifying kids and rounding up the adults. A trick the Crown has played many times since colonisation. Just Google it, bitches. Tame Face Charges went to prison but eventually received a grovelling apology from the Popo. But still, I'll admit it, I'm a little bit nervous. I am from Christchurch after all. Kia ora. Hi, guys. Mm. Nice to meet you. I'm too. Properly. Properly. <laughs> Aye. You had to speak loud to me. I know, I know, I know. Is that loud enough? Yeah. It's like a bossy wife. I like it. When are you guys planning to overthrow the government? It's just that I want to do a romantic weekend in Wellington, but if you guys are invading, I might just postpone. Because I just want to get some dates in the diary. Uh, oh, actually, they can do that themselves. The government they can, can overthrow they themselves. They can overthrow themselves. A lot of people are scared of you now. Where's the sound guy? He was oh, like, they, oh. Are they scared of? He he's, was scared. he's literally hiding around Look, the corner. Oh, yeah. And he said, oh, what's tummy like? I mean, if you see guns, you know, if he's got a gun in the corner, just, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. don't piss him off. But, slowly um, back away. Yeah, slowly back away. Uh, I'm a pussycat. Yeah, no, that's what I said. Yeah, I, I was like, totally. wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought too. I will lick you to death. Oh, tell me. <laughs> I'll lick you to tell death. me more. <laughs> <laughs> What's the maddest you've ever been with each other? I get really mad when he has this like weed eater, it's a really good weed eater, and he doesn't <laughs> put that shit away. And what do you say? You're like, shut up, son, smack. No, no, no. no. Get over it, get used to it. That's what a lot of my white friends say when I start moaning about the land. They're like, oh, get over it. <laughs> Park here? Just here? Um, actually, yeah, no, up to the, the van there. And just pull in here. Yeah, so this is Tuhoi HQ. The new Tuhoi HQ looked pretty impressive and eco-friendly to boot and no sign of AK-47s anywhere. This is our signal of intent, because the whole place is off the grid. But what we found at a secret hall in nearby Whakatane would blow my tiny little mind. Are you allowed to take whatever you want? Yeah, you put your stuff on the table. Is anyone gonna take this? You are. Yes! <laughs> the crop swap was a good cover, but I was getting worried about leaks. So after trading our AKL 47s, we beat it out of there before people overherbed us. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop it now. So you, you happy with your, your oh, loot there? I, I, I got so much. So, so, so many you go, we're going to be things. eating this tonight, you uh, realise, eh? <coughs> um, You're going to be cooking gonna it. I was going to bring it back and I was going to sell it to Faro Fresh in Auckland. Oh, really? Yeah. So, well, okay, yeah, no, well, bye. we'll see. Hey, so we got all of the. Um, our gathering from today. I mean, I get a kick out of the fact that it's yeah, all of this is grown locally. Yeah. I love cooking. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm watching people cook. You can make the salad because we have okay. the tomatoes from the that we got from the swap meat. From the swap meat. I have mozzarella that I made the other day, so you can put the mozzarella in. Yep. We got homemade mayo. Oh. And limes. That's got a lime tree back you there. You guys too. are clever fucking terrorists. 
This fella here can't see. Yeah. He's blind as a bat. Beautiful. When did you realise that your dad was different to other dads? Yeah, I do have a distinct memory when he came to pick me up from school and we were supposed to go somewhere and we ended up on the main roundabout in the middle of town and there was the drawing of a Māori warrior burying his buttocks on the side of the van. <laughs> but we pulled up onto the yeah, roundabout um, yeah. and um, they pulled out a mini PA system and started protesting. So your dad has created some iconic political performance art, shooting the flag, bearing the bum. What's been your favourite? Like, what's been like, oh, dad, choice. Tim Mickey, get that bum out. <laughs> Shoot that ass. <laughs> when he turned up to, uh, was it the tribunal? When you got up the ladder? Oh, yeah, all Portuguese. Through his theatre, he exposed the theatre. So they put themselves at the top table, yeah. which is this place of authority, and it's the symbolism that we just accept and everybody goes along, oh, they're, they're the authority and they're the bosses. So by him climbing up the ladder to put himself on par, yeah. it exposes the fact that they're performing theatre. <laughs> I've collected some of the worst racist and semi-racist Māori and Pākehā jokes I could find and now challenge you to a terrible, unfunny and racist joke-off challenge. The first to laugh loses. I'll go first. What's black and white and rolls down a hill? I don't know. What's black and white and rolls down a hill, Monika? Do you know? It's a Māori and a seagull fighting over a fish head. OK. How do you get a Māori in a bath? I don't know, how do you get a Māori in a bath? Throw some KFC in it. If there are three Māoris in a car, who's driving? Who is driving? The police. OK. Why do Māoris have big lips and big shoulders? Um, shit. Big lips and big shoulders. Um, I don't know. Like, we all agree that the cops fucked up, right? Yeah. They went in there, boom, boom, boom. But people still say, what were they doing with the guns? Yeah, well, we were at home. It's our homeland. It's our business. We're not accountable to anybody what we're doing. But we weren't doing what they're saying we were doing. And, and, and when you come from, when you're in the same place where actually defending your territory yeah, yeah. was a way of life, mm. then that's a tradition in a way. Yeah, yeah. And how would we, you know, when the apocalypse happens, uh, you, how would you defend your resources? And, and like you said, we're in our backyard doing that. Yeah. We're certainly not going to go into Whakatane and start killing people because, as you can see in your experience yeah. with us, we're not that kind of people.
Mm, that bread looks very yummy. Mm. Are you hanging? Oh, okay, so. mm. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.